high up in the Moroccan mountains. Vast cannabis fields stretch as far as the eye can see. The crop has been cultivated in this region for centuries, but farmers have recently seen a drastic drop in earnings, despite a government plan to legalize cannabis for medicinal and therapeutic use. There's a real crisis in the so-called traditional cannabis sector. Farmers are waiting impatiently for legislation, hoping that it can open the economy for us. Under the law, which was approved in March last year, farmers will be allowed to grow limited amounts of cannabis and sell it to licensed firms. But slow progress towards issuing these licenses means they must continue to operate illegally. They're also regularly targeted by police raids as authorities seek to dismantle trafficking networks and are now urging the government to speed up proceedings to allow them to earn an honest living. We support legalization. People will at least be able to live in peace, without fear of prosecution. I can assure you that over half of the people living here have already been prosecuted because of cannabis. Already the world's top hashish producer, Morocco hopes it can tap into a lucrative and fast-growing market that's already worth nearly 1 billion euros in Europe alone.